Hey guys, I'm just popping in here quickly with a little bit of an update just because it's been too long since I've updated here for you and I wanted to share you a little and I wanted to share a little bit with you what has been up with me. So for one, I'm still working on that tutorial for the mesh. I have to edit it down, but most recently that I've wanted to share with you guys is that I have started sharing an Instagram. So I have Musk Crochet Hat as my Instagram handle, I should say, I guess. And that is where I've been sharing some of my pictures more recently. I've become a little bit, teeny bit addicted to it. So I've been, the past week or so, I've been posting fairly regularly on there, seeing pictures and sharing and going and seeing what other people are doing and liking on that. So. It's been my little addiction, partially because I bought an iPod Touch, and I haven't. I've been. I stayed away from a lot of the the fancier. I've stayed away from you know the smartphones for a while. I was like being traditional, holding tight to the thing like a phone should be a phone, it shouldn't be a toy kind of thing. So since I needed a new iPod because I like to listen to music. I thought, okay, I'll get the iPod Touch so I can introduce myself into the world of the apps. And then I just sort of got sucked into this whole world with Instagram. And it's so convenient and so pleasant. So that's what I've been doing. I'll leave the link <laughs> down below for you guys to follow if you want to and to see what pictures I've been posting. So the main point of this is that last week I went to Michael's, the notorious, the joy-inducing, the guilt-creating, overspending at Michael's. So, yeah, I went there. <laughs> so, I restrained myself. I was like, okay, I'll go in there and I'll see, hmm, I'll pick up a, a couple pieces. I'll pick up a couple balls of yarn. I'll see what's what's interesting here. What's what's going? Because I've been very good this summer at not buying random amounts of yarn. So I've kept my stash the way it is. So I haven't grown more over the past few months without actually producing any project with it. So I've been good. So I was like, okay, let me treat myself. Go there. See what's new. See what's out there. See what I want to go through. But then, I came up to this realization. Um, I was looking at all this yarn, and I saw all these different colors, all these different kinds, all these different textures, and I'm like, this is amazing. This is awesome. I want to, I want to use it all. I want to go on and use all these yarns in different projects. But I'm like, wait, well, one, it's overly ambitious, and two, also, way too much money <laughs> but the third more practical thing I, I discovered was that I don't have the skill set to utilize these yarns to their full potential like I early early on I bought a ball of pompadoodle yarn and to this day I have not done anything with it because I was not able to find a way to master that technique of using that kind of specialty yarn. What I really found out was was that I needed a stronger resource. I needed a bit more of a formal background, a bit more structure in terms of how I learned. A bit more structure in how I crochet. As I said in some of my early videos, I'm not sure if some of you remember, that um, I basically learned crochet by watching YouTube. I watched videos, I watched Teresa Crochet Geek, and I saw her tutorials on how to crochet projects, and I was like, whoa. And I you know, took note, and I, and 
and I watched it very carefully, went slowly, and learned how to create a hat project just by watching and then adapting, learning how to read patterns as well. But what I have always been lacking was more of like a formal reference, like a book that I could refer to. So I restrained myself from getting all of that wonderful, fabulous, gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. That could be done in so many, <laughs> so many things. And what I got was this. It is the complete photo guide to crochet. So it's a pretty thick book. It has a lot of pictures, it has a lot of details. It was like, I think it was like 30 some dollars for this book. But I liked it because there's a whole lot of patterns in here, a lot of explanations on different stitches, and and basically starts from the beginning. And even though a lot of those things I've already, through trial and error, figured out how to do myself, I thought it was a good idea to get a book so I can see what certain things I may have skipped and things that I could have that I can improve upon. So. What I'm going to do for myself as a little, basically a test project for myself, is find a pattern in here using two different colors and try to practice and learn how to complete that stitch. And hopefully at some point make it use that stitch into a hat project. But it's so great to have a resource where I could fully see so many different ways of using crochet stitches in unpredictable ways that I didn't know was possible. So I just want to share that with you and that's what has been new in my crochet life <laughs> right now. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll actually give you a bit more feedback too on how I find this book works out. I don't know, I might do uh, a review of it at some point just to see how practical it is. But I liked it a lot for the pictures and the details it has in the description so far. But once I actually complete the project, I could have a bit more of an informed opinion about this. But I thought this was a much better investment long term that I could go back to and deal with the stash of yarn I already have and come up with new ways of doing it as opposed to diving into getting more yarn that it might be a bit more problematic to go ahead with. So, that's, that's all I have for you right now. And thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.